Okay, what I have uh, set up is a uh, ballistics gelatin, two blocks. Um, there's a balloon with uh, some red filled liquid in it. And then the second block is just going to be used to, to hopefully catch that bullet. Um, I'm going to compare a couple different bullets. I'm going to compare the uh, Fioshi Extreme Mono Block, which I'm going to fire first. It has a, uh, a bullet that's designed for penetrating uh, barriers as well as expansion afterwards. We'll see if that really works that way or not. Um, we'll shoot it into this first block. The second block is just going to be used to hopefully catch it if we can. Um, and that's the bullet that we we're talking about. It has a little thing in there. It's kind of a copper solid, almost rod type thing in there. So that'll be the first shot. Into the ballistic gel through the simulated heart and blood. And here we go. A little low. <laughs> Funny. We hit low. We went right underneath of that balloon. Well, we did puncture a little bit. I'm going to load up and shoot again real quick, but that bullet stuck back here. The reason I'm going to load up and shoot again, because I want to hit that while it still has some liquid in it. See better. Denim always throws me off. Dead center shot that time. And let's see what happened. Went through the balloon. How much of this you can see on the film. You can see the big wound channel right here when it went in. You can see that we obliterated the balloon. And it did expand like you show it. It does. It's pretty impressive. Because that's the weirdest bullet I think I've seen on the market. It's got a big stem that sticks out of there. Full expansion. That stem is what helps it penetrate barriers. So you get that whole bullet right there. All pedaled out nicely. Caught it. And I'm going to... This other one didn't expand at all. But that's after we hit the table. So it probably slowed down quite a bit. The other thing is we didn't have the denim in place for that shot. This next shot we're going to do, we'll use the denim. And I want to try that same shot again. Same bullet, but with the denim. This balloon's filled with green blood. That's a uh, zombie blood is what that is. There we go. Oh, you can see the blood squirting out. Heck of a wound channel. Man, look at that. Well, you can see it really good from this side. That's where it took that and just sprayed it through the entire wound channel. Let's see, that's the other bullet from the other shot. Let's see if we can find this one. Like, I don't know where the heck it went. Exited right there. I can see that. This other block was sitting right here. So it should be right in here. But I don't see it. It's one of those disappearing ones. Could be that it didn't quite make it. Here it is right there. And those aren't doing real good with the denim. Once they hit the denim, they're plugging up just like any other hollow point does. And they're not opening. Still has a pretty devastating wound channel, considering. But uh, when you compare that to uh, one of the Z-Max bullets, there's no comparison. I'm going to do one more shot here while we still have a little bit of daylight. Just a uh, 100 day Z Z-Max. through the same exact area with the denim just because I like to keep shooting
See, I'm going to say that that Z-Max has a lot more energy that it's delivering. Look at them wound channels. Whew. That green shows up good in there. That Z-Max went right on through everything. Um, continued on, went into this next block. And there it is. Right there. Perfect mushroom almost every time. Though the, it doesn't have as much cutting action on the pedals because they, they fold back quite a bit. But wow, it always performs well. That's why I use it in so many tests. It's like perfect.